Today we're doing a Jira stove repair. There's some root resorption here on the mesial of number six, and you can see that where it's going in. And so I'm going to have to reflect the flap and expose this area to the Jira stove and we'll suture it back. Okay, we're using this uh, Sable Micro, well, I don't know if it's called a Micro. It's called the N6900. N6900. It's a little bit smaller than the Micro Mini, which is another blade that they have. This one was designed by Peter Nordling. And La Jolla. Used to use these all the time for connected flap mobilizations, but then I started doing kind of the modif my modification of the Pat Allen technique. And You're doing okay? So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't use these much anymore, but this is such a small site right here. Pushing our flap out a little more, and now I'm dissecting the resorptive tissue.
Okay, six out. Six out. Sounds like Deborah. Yeah, but she came with Darren. She's going to be busy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got the suturing done. We're going to put a little chlorhexidine on there. And we'll just have him dab it on there twice a day. Check it out in a couple weeks. So this is the two-week healing of the Gerostor repair on tooth number six. We'll take a look at it. Just a little more magnifying. And um, at this point, we'll be taking a look at it in another couple months. So this is a three-month healing of um, the Gerostor treatment on that um, resorption on number six. He's got a little residual pocketing of five millimeters at the mesiofacial line angle. Other than that, the, um, the uh, attachment is, is normal. So here's our x-ray of the uh, restoration today. And um, we'll look at the apical area. The apical area actually looks okay, but you know, I'm not so sure that he's not going to end up needing to have a root canal. We're going to check him out in about three and a half months.